This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. In this video, we're going to take a little longer look at the SQL commands that were used in APEX01. The naming convention for the related videos, if APEX01 is the video that we want to show something about SQL, it'll have that name followed by SQL and then 01, 02, 03, whatever the number of the video is. And in this video, we are going to look at the SQL commands that were used to create a schema and assign certain privileges. So we will look at the create user command, granting a role to a user, and granting a privilege to a user. This will be a simple explanation. This is not meant to teach you some of the fundamentals of being a database administrator and the privileges and security issues that you have when you create users or schemas. So I'm going to switch to SQL Developer. So I'm using SQL Developer and I'm logged in as Sys, which is an administrator account in the Oracle database environment. So these were the commands that were run in APEX01, in video APEX01. We created a user, and it's called animal underscore shelter, identified by, and then that's followed by the password for that account, that user or schema. We have to set a default table space, and I set it to users because you have that built in when you install Oracle XE. The same thing on a temporary table space. I'm using temp here simply because I know that's what you will have if you have Oracle XE installed. In a real work production environment, it's quite likely you would not use these table spaces. Your database administrator would have created other table spaces that can be used to help manage and monitor performance in the database. Once you create a user, if you want them to be able to do anything, such as create a table, such as actually be able to log in, then you will grant certain roles. Roles are created. Let me move over here just briefly. I'll come over to the DBA tab. If you don't see that, you can go to View and select DBA. And again, I'm in the DBA tab, and you can see that I have, let me do that again, I have roles. And you can expand those, and there are a lot of roles. These are created when you install Oracle. But I want to use Connect, which will allow the user to connect to the database using SQL Developer, for example. And I want Resource, because with Resource, you get several create privileges, creating things such as a procedure, a sequence, a table. I could grant these individually. But the main purpose of a role is to allow you to grant one thing, a role, and that role contains several other privileges. So I don't have to type in the individual commands each time. I want to grant a privilege. So back at the commands, I also added, because I did not see them in connect or resource roles, I added grant create view to animal shelter underscore animal underscore shelter, grant create dimension, grant create synonym. I'm not sure we'll need those, but I've added those. So obviously there are many things you can allow a particular schema or account to do. But you can also, by not granting these, restrict what that particular schema or account can do. If you're building a web application and you're going to create a schema, you should coordinate with your database administrator, your DBA, and let them help you figure out what it is that is needed for the table spaces and for the grants.